And people in Springfield are shocked about what they saw happen this morning on North Kansas Expressway up near I-44. A high-speed chase involving two suspects ended in a three-vehicle crash. One officer's SUV fell into a ditch. Color 10's David Chazanov is live near Kansas Expressway where that incident happened. David, what did you find out? Yeah, David and Heather, it was a much more hectic scene earlier this morning. But officers were, tr officers were trying to put a stop to this chase long before it made its way to Springfield. Between here and Bolivar, troopers spiked the vehicle twice, so which greatly reduced the speeds, and the uh, suspect hit two other vehicles a pickup and a passenger car here at this intersection. Lieutenant Jeff Johnson of the Missouri State Highway Patrol describes what took place this morning in a high-speed chase that involved three police agencies, Greene County Sheriff's, Springfield Police, and the Missouri State Highway Patrol. After the collision with two other cars, this happened. There was a passenger, a female passenger, who remained inside the vehicle, but the driver fled on foot. This video from one viewer shows officers chasing after the driver. A police car ended up hitting the suspect and then crashed into a ravine off camera. No officers were hurt, but the suspect suffered minor injuries and was transported to a hospital. Lieutenant Robert Byrne of the Springfield Police Department says that's surprising considering all the variables. Considering that there was you know, multiple vehicle crashes and just the the amount of traffic and congestion through there that, that at the time of morning that occurred, it is fortunate that nobody else was injured. Both the driver and the passenger are now in Highway Patrol's custody. Lieutenant Johnson says the southbound lane of Kansas Expressway was closed while they cleared the scene, but it has been reopened. Regardless, those who live near the location of the crash say they are shocked by what happened. I was, I was freaking out. I thought it was crazy. I couldn't believe that I was actually watching it and seeing it happening. I mean, I was hoping, I, I mean, I was praying that everything, everybody's okay. Now, we will be sure to share more information in this case as it becomes available. Reporting live, David Chazanoff, Ozarks First.